If you have an MSI Mag B460M mortar Wi-Fi MS-7C82 and you're getting this error when trying to install Windows 11, let me show you. This PC doesn't currently meet Windows 11 system requirements, right? Let me show you how you can fix that. So first, obviously, you want to just close this. And then you want to press F2 or delete, okay? F2 or delete uh, while the computer's booting up to go into the BIOS. I'm not sure which it is. I believe it's F2. Uh, let's see. Oh, nope. It's trying to boot itself, so it might be delete. So we're going to power it back on. Okay. And then we're going to press delete. All right. Just keep pressing delete while the computer's booting up. Come on. There we go. We're going to go to settings over here. Okay. We're going to go to security, trusted computing, and you want to actually enable the security device support. Okay. So go to enable. You can leave all the other stuff, PTT and all of that. Then you click the little X up here. If your menu doesn't look like this, you want to change from easy, this easy mode thing, change it. Um, it'll say advanced mode. Click that. So it shows easy mode up there. Anyways, click the X. All right. Click OK for yes to enable. And then just boot from your USB again. I don't remember if it's F11 or F12 um, to get to the boot menu. Or if it automatically boots from it, then you're fine. Okay, but we're just going to do that. And then boot from your Windows USB installer. All right, I'm going to come back when it's ready because it's going to take a while for it to go through the process. Just go through the whole menu. It's going to ask you to do the next, agree, accept, all that. And then it should show your empty drive. So I'll show you once it gets to that point. All right, so I'll just show you this. We're going to go next. Next, I'm pushing shift tab to go and then tab to and space to agree. Shift tab tab twice to go next. All right, we're going to wait for this and we'll be back. And there you go. We already went further than before. So now we're just going to accept this and then it's going to wait and then detect the drives. So we'll continue waiting. If for some reason you don't see your, your unallocated space or new disk here. So we're installing to a one terabyte SSD. If for some reason you don't see this, let me know. Then you have some uh, Intel VMD, IMEI, whatever this some driver that you're going to need or you can just disable that feature i usually just disable the vmd or change it to ahci and disable the raid but that's pretty much it hopefully this video helped you guys out thanks for watching and i'll see you on the next one bye